Lockheed Martin's new electronic warfare systems successfully tested. Lockheed Martin supported a successful government test of the Advanced Offboard Electronic Warfare AOEW, system's electronic attack capabilities while installed on a U.S. Navy MH-60R helicopter. This marked the first time in the program's development the system was able to perform engagement testing, demonstrate the ability to deter threats, and quantify system performance, while integrated and controlled by the target platform. In partnership with the U.S. Navy at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland, this integration event tested the capabilities of the system and operability on the MH-60 R helicopter platform. While the system is designed for both the MH-60R and MR-60S host platforms, only the MH-60R was used for this test. Strategic Perspectives The AOEW system is one of the most advanced, complex electronic warfare systems ever developed, said Dion Vierguts, Vice President of Spectrum Convergence at Lockheed Martin. AOEW is a force multiplier for our sailors that will help them dominate and control the battle space without ever firing a single shot. It is designed with evolutionary capabilities, set up to be completely programmable so that it can develop, deliver, and deploy new techniques as the threat landscape changes. Dive Deeper AOEW is a pod-based electronic warfare missile defense system that will provide U.S. Navy with enhanced electronic surveillance and attack capabilities against anti-ship missile threats. To date, the system has successfully undergone a series of incremental developmental and operational tests at Lockheed Martin's facility in Syracuse, New York. AOEW can be fully integrated with Aegis Baseline 9C.2 Plus and the Surface Warfare Electronic Warfare Improvement Program Block 2. The system can work independently or with other systems on board ships and other assets. AOEW leverages open systems architected solutions, allowing for rapid upgrades, interoperability, reduced lifecycle costs, and prompt insertion of new hardware. The architecture and technologies of AOEW lay the groundwork to deliver similar capabilities on other assets such as small ships or unmanned aerial and surface vehicles. What's next? More tests and demonstrations of the AOEW pod on host platforms are planned in 2024. The team will use the results to continue to refine system performance. Currently, AOEW is under a low-rate initial production contract and deliveries of the first AOEW units are expected in the next year.